Our current code chooses the first three items in the country's array and places them into the three buttons on our view controller. This is fine to begin with, but really we want to choose three random countries each time. And there are two ways of doing this. First, we could pick three random numbers and use those to read the flags from the array. Second, we could shuffle up the order of the array, then pick the first three items. Both approaches are valid, but the former takes a little bit more work, so we want to ensure that all three numbers are different. This game would be even less fun if all three flags were the same. The second approach is easier to do, because Swift has built-in methods for shuffling arrays, called shuffle for in-play shuffling, and shuffled with a D to return a new shuffled array. So, at the start of our ask question method down here, just for a call set image on our first button, we're going to say countries.shuffle. That will automatically randomize the order of the countries in the array, meaning that countries 0, 1, and 2 will refer to different flags each time ask question is called. To try it out, press command R to run your program a few times and see the different flags in action. This time, we're going to get Nigeria, Italy, and America. I'll try it again, Command R. Now we have Monaco, the UK, and Russia. So the next step is to track which answer should be the correct one. And to do that, we're going to create a new property for our view controller called correct answer. So back in Xcode, underneath the score, I'm going to say var correct answer equals zero. And that will give us a new integer property that will store whether it's flag zero one or two that holds the correct answer. To choose which would be the right answer requires using Swift's random system again, because we need to choose a random number for the correct answer. All Swift's numeric types, like int and double and more, have a random in method that generates a random number in a range. So, to generate a random number between zero and two inclusive, we're gonna go down to ask question and add this in here correct answer equals int dot random in zero dot 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 that is the closed range operator two so this means give me a value between zero and two inclusive so it could be zero or two and now we have the correct answer we just need to put its text into the navigation bar this can be done using the title property of our view controller but we need to add one more thing we don't want to write France or UK in the navigation bar with lowercase letters. It looks ugly. We could capitalize the first letter, and that would work great for France, Germany, Russia, Poland, and so on, but it would look poor for US and UK, like us and UK, when really it should be capital U and capital S, or capital U and capital K. The solution here is simple. We're going to uppercase the entire screen. This is done using the uppercase method of any string, so all we have to do is read the string out of the country's array at position of correct answer, then uppercase it. So in ask question below, we're actually setting buttons. We're going to say title equals countries correct answer dot uppercased. With that done, we can now run the game and see it's almost playable. I'll try it now. I'll press Command R to build and run my code. So it's saying UK, and of course it's the zeroth flag in this respect. I'll press uh, Command R again, randomize it again, and we'll see France, and now it's the second flag in the array. Of course, there's one piece missing. The user can tap on these flag buttons, but they don't actually do anything. Let's fix that. 